What's up everybody? In this video, we are talking about purple shampoo. And it's a little bit of a different type of review this time because we're doing a versus. So that's one purple shampoo versus another purple shampoo. So the shampoos that I sort of pitted against each other today were the Fanola No Yellow, which is a super popular one, and also the Bold Unique. So right off the bat, let's get into some product features of both of them. Starting with the Fanola, this shampoo says that it tones down unwanted yellow hues or gray. Uh, it's also pH balanced at about 5.0 to 5.2, which is, I think, like human skin pH. Like, I think that's like neutral. Don't quote me. It's made in Italy and the 350 ml is $20.99 on Amazon, so $20.99. This is the Fanola No Yellow, super, super popular. I know a lot of you guys use it. Okay, so the Bold Unique is this one. I actually hadn't heard of it, but the company did reach out to me and send this to me. I've had it for like months, um, and I've been using both interchangeably, the Fanola and this one. So that's why I was kind of like, I should do a comparison. So for the Bold Unique, the product features are, sorry, I'm gonna quote the actual bottle. Banishes brassiness and say hello to shimmering silver tones. It's cruelty free and vegan. It's also paraben and sulfate free. And a 237 mil is $29.95 on Amazon. This one is a 250 mil. Um, I don't know why I couldn't find that. I could only find a 237, but it still gives you some sort of context. So pros of the Fanola. Um, I find that it's a little bit more of a friendly shampoo. So if you're new to purple shampoo, this is my this is like a good starter uh, shampoo because it's not extremely potent. It doesn't like overtake your hair and you have to move quickly with purple shampoo. So with the Fanola, I feel like you can move a little bit slower if that's the case. Um, it doesn't stain as badly. None of it like permanently stains, but you have to make sure you rinse it off ASAP because it will stain if you leave it. Um, but it doesn't stain as easily. It's not so intense that you can leave it on for a little bit longer and you're not gonna have like purple hair necessarily. So some of the pros about the bold, um, the smell is amazing. I think you guys know I'm a super uh, smell person. I love when products smell really, really good because like if you have the technology, why not just make it smell good and do all the other things that you want it to do? Uh, so this is weirdly a beautiful citrusy grapefruit smell. Um, you wouldn't really expect that to be honest. If anything, if you're gonna go fruit, you maybe ex assume a, a berry sort of scent because it is a purple shampoo. But um, no, it smells beautiful. The, the thing with this one is that it is a little bit more potent. However, sometimes you need that, sometimes you want that. So um, if you're a little bit more experienced with using purple shampoo, this is uh, a pro for this one because it's a little bit more intense. You can even tell when you put it in your hand as well. It's like really purple, whereas the Fanola is like more of a darker uh, sort of purple. And this one really allows you to achieve like that silver, edgy, purple, purple, like hued hair, if that's what you're going for. Okay, cons. The Fanola, it doesn't smell good. I don't like the smell of it. Um, I just still use it because I like the results that I get. But I'm not excited to open it. I'm not excited to put it in my hand. I don't know, it just has this like, reminds me of like a grandma or something. Um, it just like, I, honestly, it's just not for me. The other thing about the Fanola is that I find it is a little drying. So I would never recommend to just only shampoo your hair without a conditioner anyway. But I find when I use the Fanola, I end up using like a hair mask afterwards because uh, my hair is noticeably drier. But again, I still like it as a good product because it gets me the color, the desired color that I want. So, um, and you know what, that could be the pH balance to be honest with you. So maybe it actually is better for my hair, but I'm used to, I guess, using things with more like moisture in them. So that's why I can notice a difference. The other con is that uh, if you do want that edgy silver look to your hair, you have to leave this on for a longer time. Uh, so treat it more as like maybe a toner or a mask versus a shampoo. One last con about the Fanola is that it um, it doesn't really foam. And I know that can be a good thing because that usually means that there's like no fillers and garbage in it. But I also think like it's kind of annoying. So if you really want to get like a clean, uh, a clean scalp and like, like a full clean wash, it's sometimes better to use your regular shampoo first to make sure that your scalp is nice and clean and then just use the Fanola afterwards on your blonde parts. Okay, uh, cons about the Bold Unique. So this is more of a thinner product, so it's kind of runnier, which makes it a little bit more dangerous. So like I said, the shower can get a little bit messier. If you have a shower curtain, 
beware of this product. I have a glass shower, so I can just like easily wipe it off. Um, but if you have like a white shower curtain, I would not use this product. It's very, very purple um, and it probably will stain. Be weary about the amount of time that this sits on your hair. Um, you don't wanna like, I've been in the shower before completely straight up and I'm just like do 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 and you start having like your shower thoughts and like you're shaving and doing other things exfoliating and then I'm like, oh my God, it's on my hair and like you're trying to rinse it off. I've been there and it's not exciting. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did in the shower and then we'll review together. So I wish my roots are done, but lockdown, uh, just cause I'd rather you guys get like a full, full picture, but hopefully you can still use this blonde hair here to see the results. I am wearing a bathing suit also, <laughs> just um, disclaimer. Okay, so I got my Fanola here and then I got my Bold Unique here. I'm gonna start with my Fanola because I find the Bold Unique is extremely potent. Um, so I'm gonna sort of be strategic because the phenol is gonna go on first. It's gonna be on for like maybe 10 to 15 seconds longer. So I think that it's gonna end up actually balancing out with the Bold Unique because like I said, this is a little bit more potent. Another little tip for you guys too is um, I usually will actually wash my hair everywhere first with just like a regular shampoo, more so to get the scalp um, benefits. And then I mostly use my purple shampoo as more of a toner. But uh, today I'm using the purple shampoo as everything because I just want to show you guys like the actual real results. Okay, so Fanola is going in first on my left side, so this side. You don't need too, too much. Uh, for half my head, obviously I need way less, but I'm sort of putting in this much. And this will get everywhere, guys, but don't freak out because the second you rinse it off, it's uh, all better and it's all gone. So nothing's gonna stain, but just don't leave it for too long. All right, so this is already hard at work. I need to move fast. Uh, I think it's pretty much everywhere. I usually do one of these. Okay, I need to move quickly. The bold unique you're gonna see is a little bit more dense, kind of looks the same, but you might notice when I put it in my hair. This, th this one will stain more, like it's already all over the floor, oh my gosh, and outside. <laughs> uh, we'll just clean it up. Okay, so, Back on this side, do a little more for thinning. Okay, so we have bold, we have the Fanola. I'm gonna make, wait 15 seconds and then rinse it off. Okay, so here I am. I put my Fanola on my left side and I put the Bold Unique on the right. Also, just to let you guys know, I haven't styled my hair at all. I've only put a blow dryer through it because I just didn't wanna manipulate it in any way. I wanted you guys to be able to see the exact results. So it's kind of giving me identical results. Um, I'm sure you guys will agree. The only thing I would say is that the Fanola did spend an extra like 10 seconds on my hair while I was applying the Bold Unique to this side. And we kind of still got the same results. So that's just like a testament to the potency of the Bold Unique. Um, the least brassiest parts are always right here on me because I think these are the most blonde and the most dead. Um, I don't know, I kind of am seeing maybe a little bit more of the lack of brassiness in the Fanola side, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm really shocked because I was really expecting the Bold Unique to be sort of the superior product in this review. Um, not that I like it any better than the Fanola, each have their purpose, but I just sort of thought that that was gonna be like the one I picked. Um, but yeah, it, it's really hard to tell. So in a, a perfect world, I probably would have left this, this out a little bit longer, but I just didn't want purple hair and uh, that's happened to me a bunch of times before. Quick tips for you guys though, if you do use purple shampoo and you leave it on for too long, all you have to do is just get some regular, and you can see in the shower, like you can look down at your hair and you can see that it's purple. That doesn't mean it's gonna stay purple. You kind of almost have to like rinse it out first and then look at it afterwards. And then if it's purple, then still, Here's what you can do. You just take a little bit of regular shampoo and you just like spot wash the areas that are looking a bit too purple and it should take out some of the purple and you should be okay. If that's not coming out and you've really, really stained your hair, um, grab some dish soap, put a little quarter size or something in your hand and then 
start washing your hair with the dish soap and then it really should come out. The only downside is that it dries the shit out of your hair. So like put a lot of conditioner on it afterwards, but at least you don't have purple hair. Another little tip for you guys. I used to be platinum blonde. So I'm kind of used to those times when I'm jumping in the shower and I'm like 10, 15 seconds and like otherwise my hair is gonna be purple. But I've since gone a little bit more goldeny blonde. And then also I just haven't done my hair in months because of the pandemic. So, um, Girls who are really, really, really blonde, obviously be a little bit more careful. And girls who are a little bit more honey blonde or a little bit more natural um, can budget a little bit more. So the conclusion, I probably could have had this on um, for a little longer, but it is what it is. I kind of, I do like my results though, cause I didn't want purple. So I, I just wanted the yellow to be gone. Yeah, so this is really hard. I'm okay, I, I really, I, I don't want to sit here and be like, they're both great. I mean, they both serve their purpose, but I want to give you guys um, a winner. And so I'm gonna go with the Bold Unique. And a big reason why I'm choosing that one is because of the smell. I just hate bad smells. Um, and the, like I said, the grapefruit citrusy smell is just really, really nice. Um, the other thing is, is now that I am a little bit more goldeny brown, um, I can obviously wait a shorter time to get my desired results with the Bold Unique because um, the intensity is higher. Uh, but with that said, I do love Fanola. I will continue to purchase it still because it does serve its purpose uh, for when I need it. And yeah, take that information and now you guys can make your decision. This product is for blondes and people with gray hair, but mostly blondes who just hate that yellow brassiness that most of our hair automatically goes to. If you have warm, like brown hair naturally, which is I think the most popular natural hair color, uh, that's what I have, as you can see up here it's more than likely that your hair is going to go yellow at some point if you've um, put blonde in it. Uh, it's just like science. <laughs> so this product is like such a lifesaver. So it's really for that person that loves that cooler look and you can really choose yourself if you want just a cool natural blonde, if you want a silver blonde, or if you want um, more of an intense like sort of purpley hue because these products can give you all of that. You just have to leave them on for longer, read the instructions, watch some tutorials, etc. I'd say the Fanola being only $20.99 and 350 mils is the better option for somebody on a budget um, and then somebody who's just looking for the best product go with the bold unique it comes in a little bit of a smaller bottle but a little goes a long way because it is a little bit more watery and it's only $29.95 it's not that expensive that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you enjoyed the sort of one versus one comparison style of review because I really enjoyed this one myself and I think I'm gonna do some more like this. So please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I do three product reviews a week and also follow me on Instagram at Heather LaDuca.